everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I would just like to say before I start this video that I've never really made one of these videos before, but I thought that it would be a really cool idea, especially for all of us single people out there in the world on Valentine's Day. Um, this video could be really helpful for you because this is going to be tips and tricks on what to do on Valentine's Day when you are single. And I do want to point out that I don't see anything wrong if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend on Valentine's Day. That's awesome. You have somebody to celebrate the holiday with and there's nothing wrong with that. Do whatever makes you happy, man. I just feel like society kind of makes single people feel like they should feel bad on Valentine's Day because they don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know what I mean? And so this video is kind of going to be what all that is about. So. Yeah, don't take anything the wrong way. I just wanted to throw that out there. This is going to be a part two um, my other series because I mentioned on my channel a couple of months back that it was in 2017 that I wanted to start like two new series on my channel and one was the... I'm sorry if I'm down lower now. My cat just jumped on my bed out of nowhere. So if the camera moved, that's the reason why. Um, but anyways, one was the things to be happy about. And the other one is just kind of like a let's talk kind of series. Like, <laughs> A big sister kind of thing. Like I'm going to give you guys advice and, um, you know, just try to talk to you a little bit like a friend would. Yeah, this could be for boys or girls on Valentine's Day. It doesn't just have to be for girls. If you're a boy and you're single, this could apply for you as well. So, yeah. So, first of all, I want to say that you need to remember that just because you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend on Valentine's Day, it does not make you any less valuable. You can be perfectly happy on your... <laughs> you can be perfectly happy on your own without a partner and... You can be perfectly complete and fine on your own. We were brought into this world on our own and more than likely we're going to die alone. So you just have to think of it like that. Like, you are whole on your own. You don't need anyone else to complete you. I feel like a lot of people, including myself sometimes, kind of feel like we're less wanted by people just because we don't have a boyfriend. Um, and that's not true like you are wanted it's just sometimes the reason why you're single is because you're holding off for something better like you have higher standards you've been around and you've had boyfriends or girlfriends whatever and it's worth the people for you and you realized that you know you deserve better so you're just waiting for the right person to come along and there's nothing wrong with that um I feel like a lot of people want love so they'll settle for less than they deserve and you know if that's what you want that's fine but we all deserve a lot more than what we get sometimes so i think that's the reason why most of us are single and look at it this way being single means freedom like you can do whatever you want whenever you want you're spending your money on yourself like you don't have a care now that i'm done blabbing I'm going to go ahead and tell you 14 things that you can do on Valentine's Day if you are single. So, yeah. And I would like to say that I am single and I do have, you know, my moments and my times where I do feel less than because I don't have a boyfriend. Um, but I'm learning. I'm a work in progress. And I thought I would share my tips to try and help you guys out on your Valentine's Day. So the first thing that I would suggest if you're a girl is to is to get dressed up, do your makeup and your hair really nice. And if you're a guy, you know, get dressed up for yourself. I mean, you don't have to put on makeup or do your hair or whatever. Just get dressed up to where you feel nice. Um, even if you don't have a partner, even if you're not going out on a date, it still makes you feel really good just to get dressed up, even if it's just for yourself, you know, even if you're just around the house, like it feels, it makes, I don't know about you guys, but it makes me feel so much better and a lot more confident whenever, um, 
you know, I just get all dolled up. Another thing that I would suggest is taking a lot of selfies on Valentine's Day. Selfies, once again, are something that make me feel really confident and good about myself, and it doesn't matter what kind of day I'm having. Like, if I'm having a very insecure day, I'm sorry if the camera's moving, my cat's on my bed, um, if I take selfies, it can make me feel like a million times better. Number three only applies if you are at the age to do it, but it is to buy yourself a drink like wine or champagne or something and have yourself a little drink. And if you are like underage and you can't drink, then obviously that wasn't meant for you, but you could go out and get like sparkling grape juice or something. And that stuff is amazing. It tastes so good. So um, go out and buy you one of them and drink you some grape juice. Another thing would be to have a movie day and just watch all of your favorite movies on this entire day. Five would be to make a playlist of all your favorite songs. If you feel like love songs would kind of bring you down, then I wouldn't suggest love songs. Just do like songs that make you happy and that lift you up and listen to them all day long and have a little dance party or something. So number six would be if you have a Tumblr page, get on Tumblr and just Tumble. I love Tumblr and I get on it all the time. I'm completely obsessed. If you follow me on Tumblr, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, I love Tumblr. So yeah, and it always makes me happy. Even yeah, even if I'm having a really crappy day, like Tumblr just it's so much fun when you're bored. So I suggest doing that if you don't have anything else to do. Number seven would be to, if you have best friends that live around you, unfortunately my best friends live out of state so I can't be there with them, but it would be to have a girls night with your best friends or a guys night. You know, just have a night out with your friends and do something fun with them. There's this term called galentines, which is like your friends, like your best friends and they're your valentine, which I can totally relate to because I love my best friends and I feel like they're kind of like my soulmates in a friendship kind of way. Really fun. Like anytime I spend time with my best friends, like it just lifts me up and makes my mood so much better. Another thing would be to give yourself a nice little bubble bath and a spa day if you can. I love bubble baths. I think that they're really nice and relaxing. Nine would be to treat yourself to a present. Maybe it's something that you've had on your wish list for a really long time or something that you've had your eye on and you've really been wanting but you just haven't had the money to do so. You know, save up your money and splurge on yourself. I don't see anything wrong with that. If it makes you happy, go for it. Ten would be to treat yourself to a nice dinner, whether it be out or whether you cook it yourself or whether you order a pizza, which is, if I had money right now, I would be buying myself a freaking pizza from Pizza Hut or something. Order yourself a pizza. No single person can be unhappy with a pizza. Eleven would be to, once again, if you're old enough, a sexy fan fiction of like one of your celebrity crushes or something. Twelve would be to bake cupcakes or cookies of some sort. Um, even if you're the only one that's going to be eating them, I mean, hell, it's fun sometimes just to bake. And you could share them with your friends and your family even. I mean, you don't have to eat them all by yourself. And then 13 would be to just go out and buy yourself a bunch of candy and junk food and just pig out. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least, which is number 14, would be to spend the day with your pets if you have them. Um, play with them, love on them. Most of the time I feel like my cats love me unconditionally and I feel like I can't really get that love anywhere else half the time. So um, it's nice to have their unconditional love. And when I'm around them they just make my mood increase. I'm sure that there are plenty of other things that you can do if you're single on Valentine's Day. Those are my 14 little tips and tricks of what you can do on Valentine's Day if you needed some help. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And yeah, um, I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, doesn't matter. I hope that you're happy and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.